Hi guys! Um, we're gonna do something totally weird, totally different today. I'm doing a video review um, specifically of the In the Irons palette from Blue Ribbon Beauty. Um, just thought it might be a little bit fun to try it on for you guys and show you kind of what I've been using um, in the palette and what I've been kind of playing with on top of it and show you the swatches and let you know what I think. I do want to go ahead and apologize first off. I am obviously not a professional makeup artist or professional makeup YouTuber. Um, so apologize for any awkward camera angles or filming of the top of my head or whatever happens to, you know, go on during this video. Okay, let's get started with our makeup look. As you can see, I've already done my right eye. So now I'm gonna go into my left and replicate what I did here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is with a fluffy blending brush, I'm gonna go into this color half seat right here. And I'm just gonna tap some onto my brush. And I'm going to start by just a little bit into my crease and on the outer part of my lid. This palette is um, not super pigmented. I mean, it's got pigment, don't get me wrong, but it's not overly pigmented and hard to work with like some palettes can be. Um, so this is really, really great for uh, beginners or people that just don't wear makeup a ton or, you know, you kind of get out of the groove during COVID. <laughs> um, it can be built up to be quite deep, but you don't have to worry about just absolutely putting way too much product on your eye and looking like you, you know, don't know what you're doing. So. I just keep putting a little bit more on until I get the depth of color that I'm looking for. Okay, I'm not going to worry about blending out too much yet because I'm going to do some other things here. So, actually, want to add a little bit more now that I looked up into the light. No. Okay, that's better. All right, now I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna take this color base for days here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of it on and tap it off. Um, and then I'm gonna add that to the lid on the outside and kind of take it slightly up into the crease, just over the top of the shade that I just put in. I'm going to stop right there because as you can see, it's already deepened up a ton. So from here, I'm going to take a clean, big, fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to start doing these little windshield wiper motions and these circular motions and kind of just letting the pigment blend into each other and take it up closer to the brow bone and take it out. Okay. Mm, it blends, the, the, the shadows blend pretty well pretty quickly, which is quite nice. You don't have to worry about them being all finicky. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same flat brush, but I'm going to take the other side and I'm going to go into this color here called Triple Oxer. It is kind of a cooler brown that has some shimmer in it. It's a very pretty color. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually put that in the same area, but I'm just going to pack it on the lid rather than taking it up into the crease and blending upwards. I want it to just kind of stay where I'm putting it. So then I'm going to go back in again over the top part of that and just kind of lightly, very, very lightly touch over that just to make sure there's no harsh edges. I do have like this very um, funny kind of vein here in my eye that makes 
make up there look a little patchy. So if it looks a little patchy, it's just because I have a weird vein. Um, it's not because it actually is patchy. And then next, I'm going to go in with this color Breaches here, which is a really pretty shimmery champagne. And I'm just going to take it all over my lid and I'm going to just can you reach back in, tap it on, reach back in, tap it on until it's kind of the uh, intensity that I want it to be. And I'm going to take that same fluffy brush again. It's going to go back in and lightly touch around the outside. And let's see, that looks pretty good. I'm going to actually add a tiny bit more of that champagne color just to make it pop out a little bit more there and then fluffy brush lightly touching it up again okay so the next step with this look is I will take a little smudge brush and I'm going to go into that base for days color and just lightly tap a little bit on because I'm not going to do too much here. I just want to bring a little bit of that color down onto my lower lash line just to kind of complete the look. Very, very, very tiny amount. And then I'm going to use that same fluffy brush with nothing on it and just blend that out. Next step, I'm going to take a another like a liner brush and I'm going to dip back into that breeches color. And I'm just going to go and pop that right underneath my brow bone just to give a little bit of highlight. You see how that made that pop right there. Okay. And then the last step I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this. Prince of Wales, which is a really bright, sparkly, kind of white, um, into my inner corner, and then I grab that fluffy brush and just make sure that that blend is smooth on that highlight in the corner. Okay, um, so that is it for the look that I have been doing with this palette and I wore to the show the other day. Let me just pop on a little mascara. Oh no, of course I just touched my lid. That's what I get for doing this on camera. I'm like not holding the wand like I normally do because I'm trying to hold this mirror. Okay. So, not the best mascara job I've ever done in my life, but that's not what we're uh, looking at today. So, there you go. There's the look done. Okay, now that we have the base look done, let's do something a little fun. Um, Rachel, the founder of Blue Room Beauty, has said that these eyeshadows, um, work really well with other brands so i have been putting some other products on top of them just for a little pop um so i picked a couple of uh different palettes that i'm gonna put some um other just more pop colors just to give it a little more oomph, just to show you how well this palette works with some other more intense shimmers and things so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into a color pop palette that I got pretty recently. I'm just going to go in with my finger and I'm going to see, add this super dark kind of pewtery taupe shine on top. See that? which actually works beautifully with this color palette. And then I'm gonna pop just a little bit more shimmer 
on there. Just right in the center of my lid, just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. <laughs> okay. So, see, I didn't do a whole lot, just changed it up just a little bit, added a couple of uh, ColourPop shimmer shades over the top of that one. As you can see, it's a little bit more glamorous, sparkly, shiny than just the uh, Blue Ribbon Beauty palette by itself, but very pretty. It works really, really great with the ColourPop formulas. I actually have... Uh, kind of played with mixing them around a lot and use some of the more colorful uh, color pop formulas to add a little bit more to these eyeshadows. It's a great, great starting neutral palette to uh, build some looks off of. So on the other eye, I'm gonna go into a Huda Beauty palette, the New Nudes palette, and I'm gonna grab this pinky shimmer. I'm going to pack it on top of this eye. I'm sorry for getting all up in your camera business here. Okay, so um, that's beautiful. Just adds a little bit more pink to the look, exact same base as this eye. Um, this is cooler, this is a lot warmer, prettier, great for Valentine's Day. Um, it works really, really great with the uh, Huda formulas too. And then lastly, um, I know this is probably a little over the top for some of you because uh, this brand is n not cheap, um, but it also works, they also work great to pop some Pat McGrath um, special shades over. I got this really nice um, palette from their Christmas release a couple of years ago. They had them again this Christmas. They were on sale. They were like 30% off. I'm like, okay, let's do it. Um, super sparkly, like can't even tell you. So we've got high end over here on top. We've got a little bit lower end with the color pop on this side. The palettes, I think I used the palette on this eye on top of the Blue Ribbon Beauty is like a $12 palette. Um, this palette, the Huda Beauty one is quite expensive and the Pat McGrath one is quite expensive. But as you can see that the shadows for the in the irons really, really just works with everything. It's a beautiful, beautiful base for even more glam look. I highly, highly recommend using this palette, um, not only to do complete looks with, but to play around with some of your other eyeshadows and see what you can use this neutral base as kind of a really good anchor for your other looks. Um, it really has played really well with any other formula that I tried on top of it, which has been absolutely great. Okay, now for my final thoughts on this palette. So the palette has a companion palette um, as well called Latigo and Lace, which my other reviewer friend, Kristen, is gonna be reviewing. I can't promise a video, um, but she's gonna be reviewing that one. And it's a little bit warmer toned, a little bit more dramatic of a look. Um, but this one is definitely a daytime, pretty, you could easily, easily wear this to work no matter what your job is. Perfect for a horse show, even a more conservative class, and it has great staying power. It has held on all day long at a show when the rest of my makeup has failed. Um, so I was very impressed with that. The, the formulas are really, really easy to work with. The mattes blend really nicely. The shimmers are nice. Um, they're very subtle. They're not gonna give you like over the top shine, but that's perfect for what we're going for with this palette. So I really, really enjoyed using it. Um, I've been using it regularly and I am planning on continuing to do so. So if you're looking for a new everyday palette um, or something for horse showing that's going to make your decisions with your eye makeup quite a lot easier, this is probably the palette for you. Um, so give it a go. Head on over to Blue Ribbon Beauty and uh, pick one up. 
Thanks. I also just can't help but give out a shout out to Roner Designs uh, for making some of the most beautiful clothes ever. I absolutely had to wear one for the video today and I just got the shirt the other day. It was on sale. Um, so pretty. So pretty. So if you're not shopping with them yet, you may want to think about it.